Coach, pretty intense game out there. You got two points. Your thoughts on tonight? Well, we knew it was going to be intense. Um, our conference, every game is like that. Uh, you got to be ready to play. You've got to uh, make strong plays all over the ice. You got to take hits. You got to play defense. You got to take what the game gives you. So uh, I thought both teams played hard tonight. Um, it goes into overtime, and it can happen, obviously. But uh, we played hard, and I thought we did a lot of good things tonight. And we certainly took another step forward, and uh, hopefully continue to gain some confidence here, and, and uh, you know, get ready for tomorrow night. Suffering that goal in the um, latter half of the third period is obviously a confidence drainer, but it looked like the boys battled back great and came out strong in that overtime. You know, uh, there was really nothing on that goal. I mean, it's a good shot by by their guys, so you have to. You know, tip your hat off, and they're a good hockey team. And um, you know, you just go and continue to play, and continue to do the things you've been doing all night. And I thought we did that for the most part. Uh, you know, certainly three on three, it's pretty exciting when it goes back and forth. Uh, not much. Uh, it's not very exciting for a coach, but uh, it certainly is for the fans. Um, that was the only goal they got by Jay tonight. Uh, he hadn't played much this year, but. Tonight especially came out and, and looked fantastic, and that um, and that had to have been a nice nice treat. Yeah, you know, give credit to Jay. He's he's battled back and he's get, put himself in a, in a pretty good situation. And you know, our goaltending Ryan's played well all year, so uh, we feel good about both of those guys right now uh, going uh, down the stretch here. And I thought our deep did a nice job, especially in the third period with our exits. Um, I thought our D zone for the most part, maybe in the second period, we got pinned a, a little bit, but. Uh, we did a decent job, and our forwards are, are doing a much better job managing the puck. So, uh, again, a good step forward. We've got to continue to get uh, to get better in those areas, and uh, you know maybe be a little bit more intense. You know that Duluth's going to come out tomorrow night ready to go, and and we have to be ready to match that. In such a physical, important series against a ranked opponent, what do you got to do to come out tomorrow and uh, complete that sweep? Well, I, again, I think we have to come out ready to to battle and, and uh, do the little things right, pay attention to detail, win the battles, a second effort battle, um, manage the puck well, and, and play strong with and without the puck. Uh, uh, Duluth is a really good hockey team. Uh, they're going to push the envelope, and you have to be ready for it. Uh, last one, getting Bill uh, Belpedio back from Finland. And uh, who else pops the last goal? I mean, that's got to be... It'd be nice seeing him continuing the success that he was having, not it, only in Finland, but before that as well. Well, yeah, he's one of our, our guys that logs a lot of minutes, and obviously he's going to put himself in that situation, and he's a very offensive-minded guy. So I think that's his second three-on-three -three, uh, winner. So, um, you know, he's a big piece to our to our puzzle, obviously. and uh, But everybody has a role on our team, and everybody has to execute that role. And um, Louis fits into his role uh, Quite nicely, and, and everybody else uh, does their job. We've had, we've got a pretty good team. Uh, again, we have opportunities to get better and continue to grow here. And, and um, you know, tomorrow night's another day. Louis, I'm not sure what time it is for you, but last minute of the three-on-three -three overtime, and you put in the one that ends it. Uh, how'd you feel out there? Um, tired, but um, felt good, and I was happy to get the game winner, obviously, and come out with an extra point, but. Overall, I felt all right. Uh, you guys obviously not in the position you wanted to be after the first half of the season, but uh, starting it off, especially with that win last night, or excuse me, last weekend, coming back and potting three in the third, and then tonight getting that overtime winner, um, trending in the right direction. And from here on out, it's a one a game. You know, we need to get just about every game. What does this do as far as taking a step in the right direction? Um, well, I mean, I know we didn't start off the season well, but the good thing about the second half is we play pretty much all teams ranked higher than us, so that's only going to help if we win. And I think we definitely started off on the right foot after break and have uh, been working hard. And I know I just got back, but I know the guys have been working hard. So, I mean, we're definitely going in the right direction as of now. Um, obviously, you know, you said you're playing everybody in the conference. Was playing in a conference like the NCHC. You saw it last year. You got, you know, you got a lot more experience this yeah. year coming into it. Um, what's it like playing teams like this week in and week out? Um, well, it's fun for one, you know, every game's a competition and they're all battles and, you know, there's no nights off really. Uh, but at the same time, it is tough, it is taxing and you got to be ready to play every night because anyone can beat anyone on any given day really. So um, I think you just got to have the right mentality every day coming into the rink. I mean, whether it's practice or a game because you never know what's going to happen. So uh, I saw you play on the defensive end of the uh, the ice mostly tonight, but uh, coming through in that three on three, 
he jumped into the rush and then ended up nice turnover and a uh, nice four check. Can you walk me through that last goal a little bit? Um, I don't know, three on three, there's a lot of space, so I just kind of tried to take advantage of that as much as I could. And uh, the puck kind of popped out in front. I guess I got a little lucky and just got a stick on their guy and uh, went right back to me. So um, only three guys instead of five obviously helps a ton. But yeah, just tried to do everything I could. How well are you going to sleep tonight? <laughs> Might not wake up tomorrow. <laughs>